Welcome to the Zoom printer. This is video this is video training for how to create a business card for Zoom printer. I hope you will enjoy it. So let's get started. In this project, what I will do, I will show you how to create a business card with a, a specific measurement. The measurement we need for our Zoom printers. Okay. So for this you need this file I will send you this file this file name is 3 5 into 2 3 5 means 3.5 inch and 2 means 2 inch let's get started first if you have already illustrator installed in your computer then right click the PDF file and open with Adobe Illustrator. So your Illustrator is opening. Okay. So this is the Adobe Illustrator. Uh, let me resize for the video here. Here is the point. Okay. So make sure is uh, <coughs> your Adobe Illustrator select either essential or printing and proofing. So. Mm, for me it's okay for printing and proofing there's no problem as long as we have uh, these buttons these this toolbox here and mm, everything will work fine okay so this is the uh, this is the template for creating business card um, let me maximize it to 200 uh, it looks better okay first of all this is only one artbook you have to create artboard so how do we create artboard let's say here is a link artboard so I have only one artboard in the below you will find a new artboard click on the artboard so right now we have two artboards okay so so what is the size for this this is a standard size it's already sized so uh, you can click on the artboard and uh, you can see the size of this artboard mm, uh, this is 3.625 in the width side and this is 2.125 um, I think yes 2.125 in total so say for example this is a business card and I'm gonna print it so uh, so how printer will print this first first of all these there are some lines you see here the finished size is 3.5 and 2 inch what does it mean by finished size finished size is the red cut line that means the printer will print millions of business card in one shot so so when they cut all the small pieces they will cut in this line either between here and this line so maybe here maybe here maybe here here so when you design your artwork make sure a uh, your artwork will cover this whole area up to this whole area it should cover whole area but you have to remember that only area from the red line this line this area will will be the finished size that means if you put your text or image here or here uh, any part of your image that will cut out so make sure that and so this area is called the bleed bleed so it says a with bleed 3.625 without bleed 3.5 that means we have 0.125 is bleed in both side if, if we divide 0.125 into 2 that means the top side and bottom side then we will get 0 0.0625 for bleed so uh, the, uh, your artwork should have a bleed of 0 0.0625 in each side at the top bottom 
left and right otherwise printer will printer the print processor will detect it and if you don't have bleed they will reject the order and you will not get paid so mm, <coughs> in this way uh, we can uh, set so i will give you the template all you have to do open the template in the illustrator file and you need margin right so let's set margin <coughs> so if you uh, if your uh, if your illustrator doesn't show the ruler then what you, what you can do place control r to show the ruler control r remember control r or you can uh, go to view then you can uh, uh, click somewhere here here it is the ruler show the ruler see the control r here okay so uh, show rulers okay so now we have rulers but we need guide before we start doing any artwork we need some guides so how do we do the guide point your mouse press the left point your point your mouse here on the top ruler and press the left mouse button drag the drag the guide to the line just a bleed line then another one to the safe margin line and another one bottom bleed line another one bottom safe margin line drag from left side to the left bleed line oops left bleed line okay you can zoom out and uh, make it uh, bigger uh, so that you can find the exact then uh, on the right bleed, li bleed line then on the right safe margin line okay then go to the so we miss one right okay Let me put it here. okay so we have all all four um um, safe margin uh, additionally you can turn on your grid uh, so that it will be easier for positioning okay positioning your uh, artwork here either in the center on the left side right side everywhere so once you have done with your safe margin and everything just select the uh, 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 select the layer the file you open this layer and press the delete button that's gone that's gone okay now your artwork should be including the bleed okay the bleed okay so you can color it red okay so this is uh, mm, this is this is one and in the same way you have top and bottom bleed line safe margin line here you can drag another here okay uh, another here or you can uh, uh, sorry, let me undo this over. so what do we have done here let me control j control j we have deleted this one right i don't want to delete this one what i can do i can select this one and drag it to this drag it to this position accordingly so that it fits the whole area of the second artboard now we are here so here you can put some guide mm, guide okay then uh, okay uh, then uh, another guide another guide for this side another guide for this side okay so now you have all guides and everything now delete this part and we are good to go right now now save this file save give it a name oh it is already named so i i, I don't have to worry about that and i can close so this is all about the setting for the uh, designing uh, in next video i will show how to uh, design